Physical Services Committee meeting to order, please. Call the roll. Councilor Myers. Here. Councilor Walker. Excused. Councilor Enright. Here. Councilor Barlow. Here. Okay, getting a motion to approve the minutes of November 3. Second. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Barlow. Yes. Seeing none, we'll move on to new business. Item number one, Anthony Leota, Hackney City Engineer, requests use of public space on behalf of William Shiner, owner of a single-family dwelling at 2931 East 11th Street, located in the second ward, for a proposed use of public space 18 foot by 18 foot for a two-car paved parking area between the sidewalk and the property line front in East 11th Street. Mr. Leota. There's, uh, I did go by there. There is plenty of room, and uh, I don't see any room either myself. So any questions, concerns? Seeing none. Second. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Barlow. Yes. Item number two, Gay Williams, city attorney, received a request from Oswego Harbor Festivals Incorporated for the use of public space for the staging and production of Harbor Fest 2015. Mrs. Williams is not here, but I think Mr. Buskey in the audience. And Mr. Buskey, if you would like, you'd stand up and let us know what you'd like to do again this year. Hey, Mike. Uh, thank you very much, fellas. Uh, what we're asking for is what we've been asked for for the last 20 years or so is the same parking, same parks, the same trolley stop space and uh, that we've used in the last few years. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Councilor Enright? Well, yeah, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> no, I want to ask you about the uh, marina. Okay. And I see there was a change from last year's request. Well, and, uh, I just caught that, and I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm correct. That line can't leave it over. It didn't come all the way down. All we need is the space we had last year. Exact same thing. Well, that's quite, that's quite a bit more space than uh, last year. Last year we gave it 15 feet on the side, and then I know the guys came in and they just set up those old marks for Well, you see when I met, we agreed on that one thing there, but we agreed to put security and fencing in there, which yeah. we will do. And, and I will tell you this up front, Fran, no baloney. As we've talked with them, if we get cut down anymore on those rights, he's gone. Uh, the problem we have right now, we've got everywhere we can. So every park at this point right now gives us a small amount of revenue. But if we lose a park, or lose that park down there, it's going to kill us. Well, here's enough. And I'm willing to compromise on this, because, but that does present a safety issue. Having that, uh, uh, that crosswalk there, and you have to get a talked about it last year, but we need to, we agreed to some stuff, but I think we need to re refocus on that. I have no problem with extra security people on this, or fencing. Well, I, I will, you know, I mean, I, I've talked to the commissioner on this, and we both have issues on it. Uh, I don't know if it's but I might want to say anything about it on this, on the part of the, uh, with the 150 extra feet there and running the marina, how um, The increase is, is substantial over the last couple of years. I mean, that we were, uh, and that, that will definitely impact the operation of the marine. Uh, we were, when we agreed two years ago to the to the, the triangle that was just to the west of the of Third Street, that was we could we could live with that. But this is at least three times as big. That that was my mistake, Mike. Did I just go brand? We went we came over seven parking places from West Third Street, and then we come down a little, and then we cut back at an angle, 
back toward that back end to the uh, uh, post truck. My truck truck. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's all we're asking for is that. But this just was run up from seriously it was. But what, what we had discussed last year, Fran, is, is we don't want any more than that. But we want to beef up the security and defense. Okay, so okay. you folks are happy with it, too. That would be, if that's the case, we're going to go back to what we originally agreed on, just for a few hours of spaces there. I don't have a problem with that. But going all the way down to this week, we're going to definitely yeah, no, what, what you and Steve agreed on and all that last year that was there, that's fine. And well, what we need to have, here's, here's what happened. We agreed on putting the security down. The problem was security never filled up. And, and there wasn't any security that stopped any of the people from going through. There was only our, our people that, that uh, interfered with the, uh, or just watched the car. So what, what I'm suggesting is, is there has to be a definite fence so that people can't walk across there for the safety have them walk on the outside on the sidewalks and down. And if you could move the blue boys away from the road someplace down where they're you know they're not quite all there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's not a and, that, and that's all that I you know what I feel would be and good I, will admit, good I know I know what Steve told you we did say two security people down there and something after I don't know what it was. I guarantee it and I get board members here will too that will be manned. Alright so I, I hope we'll, we'll get together uh, in the meantime, before this happens, we can talk about when, it. Whenever you're available, it's my own thing. But the footprints of the rise that we had last year, that, that's the crucial part. We can't lose any more of that footprint. Um, we can put fencing around like we did last year. We didn't have the security, I guess. That we and they were supposed to be there, and they didn't have it there. We did have the fencing. So the footprint where the marks are now, can't lose that. That's where that one big ride is, and that's probably 50% of the ride. It's no bigger than last year. No bigger than that. Not six inches bigger than last year. If we can, if we can address a couple other issues we do have about, you know, about foot traffic and, and uh, uh, portage on, I think that would be okay. And, and the foot traffic, I agree because I went down there and I saw it myself. So I, I agree, we need to, but we can control that. Yeah. And the yeah. portage on, I agree, yeah. they got to be moved and we put security. Now, Fran, what you're worried about is the, the, the entrance there by the fish cleaning station. Is that where you want the, the main entrance? The main entrance, is they go from the roadway to the crowd goes right along the road. They go right across the whole entrance of the marina and walk straight across and go into the, into the rocks. And so, and then you have uh, you have people there uh, driving back and forth from uh, from the yacht club area. They drive right up that way. You can't really see anybody. There's no street lights. It's not lit. So it, it's very very dangerous. Well, the main entrance. The main entrance. We will take that other route. That other road so car traffic is coming through. But we, we can talk. We can, we can take care of that. Well, right. well, as long as you guys roll into it, then I'll have Yeah, that's the two things we got. I think one we already did. We don't want any more space in the middle. That's not a footmore. I mean, that, that was fine. But we lose more like truck said. Well, we we're going to lose revenue. But as far as the other part goes, we can iron that up and do whatever people. Yeah. Keeps everybody safe and you guys are satisfied with it. We don't have a problem. Yeah, I, I was there with Fran when, when all that was going up. There was a little bit, yeah, the, the rides were, we had to, <coughs> they had to come down with those rides that were big. Just a question, I'm looking at the map here. Are, are, are you suggesting, Fran, and, and uh, for the committee, the sidewalk, uh, the sidewalk from the area that you guys are going to have uh, Fenced off, and I'm not sure you need to fence off if you if you ran a, some sort of a snow fence or something along that sidewalk and down down the uh, easterly portion of uh, where the main entrance is, and that kind of guides the people, you know, on keep them on the sidewalk and out yeah, of that area. You can get them right here. No, though. not here. So like here is what I'm saying. Yeah, right along that walkway, that there's a snow fence that comes straight down, but there needs to be security. 
security other than our people is there that tells them just to, to keep walk. them up, just to keep, keep them up, up. Yeah. Right. yeah. Then they would go to the sidewalk and that then there's a the natural yeah. walkway where they go. And that's something. We had that one, that one walk. Right. It still came down through the. I think what Fran is saying too, and I agree that we need to run right along the sidewalk, right to, yeah, right you, to the end. Can you wait for a second? I just want to show you what I'm, sure. what I, where I'm, I what I'm looking at. I agree. I'm just saying, like something, something like something from here to here, yeah. and that way, that just anybody that's coming this way or this way, it'll guide them in this, yeah. and then if they see the fence here, they're not going to walk around, or you can even fence if you want that's to. Force you to That'll force them that way. So yeah, that way you don't even need to fence that out. You just kind of. Well, I think we kind of want to anyway. Okay. I think you want to guide. Because right we here. don't want people. Yeah, going here's where you want. Here. And that's where you want. To. We don't want people going from here. Oh, that and going coming back to that. Way. Way. We probably need. A guy right there, three people from right back coming down the trail. Yeah. And this is safety. Yeah, and, and that, yeah. even that you got to be Frank able to plug it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. You'll figure it, you'll see it when you need to wrap it. Okay, is there any other questions? Concerns? I'll move it. Second. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Barlow. Yes. And we need a resolution. Mr. Smith. Please. Just for you, Mr. Thank you. Uh, just, I have one. Well, we should get together before, uh, just pace it off down there. Maybe uh, somebody's available in the next day or two. So we, got the, so we got the right numbers in the resolution, so we all know what we're talking about. Whenever you're available, and Grant's available, whenever you want to go. Yeah. Let me know. I mean, I'm not there every day, but we know that up either. Okay, on item number three, Michael Smith, DPW Commissioner, received a request from the Special Olympics Committee to host the Oswego Polar Plunge for Special Olympics New York. The date of the event is Saturday, March 29, 2015, and will be held at the Oswego Wrights Landing Marina. Commissioner? Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. There's a mistake on that because that would be Saturday, March 28th. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yes. Go ahead and speak to them. State your name and what you're here for. Cassandra Rucker, Special Olympics New York. Um, we're hoping to get permission for the third year to continue with the Oswego Polar Plunge. Um, we had some changes last year, didn't end up using the McCroby building because it was double booked. We had a tent um, on site at Wrights Marina. Um, we want to stick with that plan. Um, we have the tent put up that morning. We have the tent taken up down that afternoon. Tents up for approximately four hours, um, and everything else stays the same. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? Concerns? All right. Councilor Van Beer. Just sticking with tradition that we usually have in the past couple of years, I'll start when I was left along with the whole time ago to get to add two councilors to the resolution to put them on there. So I was supposed to be in that instance and see the representative council and I agree. Why? All right, gentlemen. Uh, so, as amended, is there any concerns? I'm voting no. Commissioner? No. I re <laughs> I rescind my motion. At least. Uh, no motion rescinded. At I will. Counselor, at least we won't need a CD from him. We did that last year when Counselor Todd went. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'll move this. I'm not saying. <laughs> Is that a second? I guess so. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yeah. Okay. 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 Seeing none, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Second. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Barlow. Yes. This time I'd like to call the Administrative Services Committee meeting in order. Please call the roll. Councilor Kaplan. Here. Councilor Enright. Here. Councilor Myers. Here. Councilor Van Buren. Here. Councilor Todd. Here. Thank you. Need a motion to approve the minutes of November 17, 2014. Move. Motion. 
Councillor Kaplowitz. Yes. Councillor Enright. Yes. Councillor Myers. Yes. Councillor Van Buren. Yes. Councillor Todd. Yes. Any old business coming before this committee? Seeing none. Uh, new business. Authorizations. Gay Williams, City Attorney, received a request from Doug Buskey, Executive Director of Sligo Harbor Festival, Inc., to renew the lease agreement for use of a portion of the Crowe Building for a three year term beginning January 1st, 2015, ending December 31st, 2017, for the monthly payment of $570. That's $6,840 annually, and there's a cash in that regard. Essentially, it's the, the same lease that has been in the house for the past term, same, uh, I think it's going to be the same monthly budget, if I'm not mistaken. Councilor Kaplowitz. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Yes. Do we need a resolution? Uh, transfer of funds, item 2, Deb Code City Chamberlain requests authorization to transfer funds from the 2014 budget appropriation in the amount of $185,300 balance from the unallocated insurance to the self insurance fund to the change in the insurance process. Thank you, Councilor. This was the uh, request that was made at the time the decision was made to transfer to the annual and self insurance. So, this is a follow up to that for authorization. Questions or comments on this one? Everybody understand what went on here? We don't want to tell the church or give them a self insurance business and uh, you know, pay an insurance company to insure the city. Is that safer for the city when you get it? Could be cheaper. Could be a lot cheaper, Miles. It's not only that. To the chair. Yes, sir. Okay. Is that going to back us up if we have problems now that if we were self insured? where they sue us for the building there. Okay, they'll have their own insurance and they'll cover us for any kind of sidewalk accidents or anything like that. That's okay. exactly what the, and the... I hope you can read the paper lately in the New York Post how much the city of New York has been sued for libel for over, I think it was around $500 million for just little sidewalk accidents. This is going to take care of it though, right? Uh, we, are, we are no longer going to be self or, and have to represent ourselves in those suits. When those suits come, they'll, they'll be dealing with the insurance company who will provide the, uh, the attorneys and the representation for okay. the city. And that's, that's, that really is when you so look at the whole right. And in the end, I think as, a, as, a, as uh, administration and as a council, it, uh, it certainly is in the city's best interest and its taxpayers to have to pay an insurance company to, to insure us and represent us. Thanks, Ryan. You've been very kind. Any other questions or comments? Make a motion. Councilor Kaplan. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Yes. Thank you. Item three, Deborah Code City Chamberlain requests authorization to transfer funds in the amount of five hundred dollars from account A one nine nine zero point zero four six zero general fund contingent to A thirty one twenty point zero four four zero police department contract services for administrative support for code enforcement. Ms. Code. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Kaplowitz. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Yes. Thank you. Item 4, Tonally Ode Act, the City Engineer requests authorization to transfer funds in the amount of $8,800 from account A6989.0440 contract services into account A6989.0410 materials supplies to cover the cost of main shaft seals at the high dam hydroelectric facility. Mr. Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have unit inspections at each unit? And from the time to time, the seals have to be replaced. Either the seals that retain the, uh, the lubrication fluid and the gas. So we need a special mineral oil. And it's important that we maintain the stock of the seals. Yes, 
So this is scheduled. This is just the replacing. They're not currently. Uh, no, these seals are right. not replaced either on the unit inspection by Brookfield or yeah, in normal operation, but the seal is leaking. I'm sorry, who's the second first? Okay. Yeah. Councilor Kapowitz. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Yes. Thank you. Item 5, Michael Smith, DPW Commissioner, requests authorization to transfer funds in the amount of $9,000 to the garage contract services account that's A5132.440 and the snow removal materials and supplies account A5142.410. Commissioner. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, this is to pay for the balance of the salt and sand uh, for this uh, season that we, we've loaded up and ready to go. <laughs> A couple more weeks like this would be nice. No more mailbox. Okay, now that come out of a different account. <laughs> Councilor Kapowitz. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Yes. Thank you. Item 6, Councilor Van Buren requests approval of transfer of funds in the amount of $2,000 from account A1010.0450 fees for services for non-employees into A1010.0440 contracted services and transfer $1,400 from account A1010.0460 miscellaneous to account A1010. Point zero four four zero contract service in order to make the payment to city source inc for the contract for the year 2015 councilor uh just as we've done in previous years just to pay for the services for maintaining the app uh the police department now has uh, access to it they've been using it for a while under theirs uh we're getting an average of about 40 or 50 every two months i think it's working well uh, sure. For those of you that don't know, uh, if you have a <clears throat> smartphone, Android, Apple, any of those, you can download uh, the city's reporting app, which is a Swigo mobile. Uh, you can use that to report various types of things and request services like leaf pickup or uh, you know, if you see a traffic sign or something out or light, street light or anything like that, you can use that to report and it goes directly to the city departments. Uh, we've been doing that for a few years now. It's been working well. It allows us to track the progress on how long it's taking our departments to answer those calls when they go to them. It's been a benefit. Mm -hmm. Questions or comments on the motion? motion? Second. Councilor Kapowitz. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Yes. Any other business coming before this committee? Make a motion to move in. Councilor Kapowitz. Yes. Councilor Enright. Yes. Councilor Myers. Yes. Councilor Van Buren. Yes. Councilor Todd. Thank you all. Sometimes they go in.